Hello guys, welcome to this new screencast about Crash that will start a kit. Uh, now, just uh, uh, a couple of words about uh, uh, the name. Uh, this starter kit uh, uh, actually was born as an Arkanoid starter kit. Uh, as you can see uh, in your uh, uh, package, you have an ASK folder and the scripts are all prefixed uh, with ASK. So, uh, if you wonder why ASK, this is the reason. It was Arkanoid starter kit, then for copyright reason uh, I had to uh, just rename this, but I had no intention really to rename every single element uh, within the project. So, in the project, uh, uh, it is still all ASK, uh, but the package name is Crash That Wall. Okay, now just uh, let's get started. When you import the package in your project, uh, you are actually good to go. Uh, there is uh, everything you need. The only thing that uh, you have to uh, make sure you do when, during the import and just after the import is uh, the following. First of all, this is NGUI uh, integrated, so if you already have NGUI, uh, the paid version of it, uh, uh, you don't need to import uh, the NGUI folder. Okay, so just uncheck the NGUI elements in uh, the package when you import uh, uh, crash that wall starter kit because uh, uh, the the NGUI version uh, that comes with the the package obviously is the retail version not the full paid version uh, one other thing once you have imported go to edit project settings and tags and create these tags and these layers i don't know why unity does not create these elements when importing a package anyway this is the way it is so you have to create the tags brick wall that wall and the layers y layer ball and power up now, one small thing about ball and power-up layers, you don't want the ball and the power-up to collide. So, one other thing to do, make sure that in the physics project configuration, this little checkbox is actually unchecked between power-up and ball. Okay, now, once this is done, you're good to go. The first thing that I'm going to show you is uh, here in the menu, Unity menu, you have a play area editor. This is the uh, main uh, thing in the starter kit. So I'm docking it here. Uh, this is the way you create the actual levels. So let's see. Uh, the folder data into the uh, resources contains the files that are uh, uh, used, created, loaded uh, uh, by uh, the crash that wall starter kit. They are a text file. You could even uh, create them manually, but uh, why? on her to one should do something like that right so for instance i'm going to load here to just to show you 1 10 20 as you can see is the is very important to name properly uh, the the files you see the file name is ask board 1.10.20 if I load it, you see this is uh, something that was there already. Okay. Now I could make this the board two. Make uh, just a couple of uh, changes, 
like this and saving it you see that uh, now okay we had already a board too I just go uh, I just wrote on it oh let's see board five and let's put something else here just to show you how this is done and save the board as you can see here now we have a board five if i go back here one ten twenty load board i load this one i can reset the board and just uh, create a new one i'm a little bit impaired when it comes to creating this kind of stuff anyway i guess that this should make it clear uh, about how easy it is using this kit to create a level now you should have a little bit of fantasy to get it right not really something that i am good at anyway uh, yeah let's say that this uh, is my new level one i save it I just go to the game uh, and let's see in the scene I, you see that you have a game screen uh, we don't save this just run it and you have the level with the board ready to be used and it just works okay now uh, why the oh I have a power up <laughs> okay so you have seen the cannonball as well now why I can just go to the game screen hit play and have my nice board ready to go because here I show you this in the code uh, and this is uh, highlighted in the readme file as well hello where are you uh, here we go you see this three line here you see the comment on top uncomment and adapt to the following three lines to test the scene without having to use the menu okay so uh, in your release game obviously you don't want to do that so you want to comment this uh, and uh, load something uh, else that you can set from the menu okay as you can see these data are kept into the ASK statics. Statics is just a class uh, holding uh, the statics data of the game, the power up types, uh, which is uh, where the enumeration that will help you to create a new power ups, uh, to define them, and all. Uh, see the comment here start here to customize you to customize the kit that is because you have to create the power up and all okay now back here so this is why uh, I could see just uh, hit play here and uh, have it loaded just because the the number one uh, 10 20 so 10 line 20 columns uh, is hard coded here to be loaded that's it 
So, uh, let's see, one thing again, uh, the board is automatically uh, scaled by the script. So as you can see now, this is uh, another uh, screen resolution, screen and screen ratio, and it works quite well. I can change this to be, I don't know, this. Uh, let's maximize and play. So it's even. And here we go. Again, it's working. Uh, the, here I'm uh, in standalone mode, so uh, I have just to click to kick the ball. In mobile, actually, there is a button that uh, is displayed. So in Android and iOS, a button is displayed mid screen so that the user can actually do this okay can with a finger move uh, the paddle and when he is happy with the position and uh, the angle uh, he can hit the button in the middle of the screen uh, to kick the ball so this is the way it works on mobile uh, one other thing here in standalone, uh, there is the hot zone, uh, which is uh, here on the bottom of the screen. But if I go up with the mouse, as you can see, it's not moving any longer. I go down and it's moving again. This to allow to to have uh, some other uh, uh, active area in the screen without uh, interfering uh, in standalone mode uh, with moving the paddle. You can easily uh, take these features off, obviously. So, uh, basically, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, let's have uh, just a quick look to the, the parameters of this main screen, uh, the main script, just to have an understanding. As you can see, the power up are defined here. Okay, so you can just uh, uh, choose the power ups, uh, defining it here, uh, time it or not. This is the cannonball that you have seen before. Okay, so this is to define the power up. These are the destroy effect and the hit effect. These must be a particle effects, particle system. Uh, the paddle. Now, uh, a couple of uh, words uh, may be needed about uh, uh, prefabs. Now, uh, the whole system has been organized using uh, these models and these prefabs. Okay, so basically, I don't think that you have uh, to come up with different models. So you can just use uh, uh, the ball, the brick, and the paddle that are uh, in here. If you don't like it for any reason, just one thing make it the same dimension okay the proportional the, 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 the proportionality between paddle bricks uh, and ball uh, make sure to have them uh, properly organized okay and you need to organize them into prefab uh, have a look to uh, the ball that Put it here. As you can see, the ball has a rigid body, does not use the gravity, is not kinematic, okay, and has a script on it which is the ball script, and there is nothing else. So Mm, just uh, now, I'm not going to go through every single uh, prefab, but just make sure if you are going to create your own uh, uh, 
prefab and your own models to make them uh, like this. This is a brick, as you can see, the brick has uh, uh, three material in this case because, uh, uh, well, in this case, uh, the brick type is fixed, so we don't really uh, need it. But if you're going to see how the strong three is done. Sorry for that. Now, the materials, uh, strong two, strong one, and normal, are needed because uh, obviously when you hit the brick, it has to change the texture of the brick itself to uh, the lower uh, level. So this is a strong three when uh, it's hit. Uh, it's gonna be strong two and then strong one and then normal and then it will be destroyed so just make sure to uh, organize things this way and uh, you won't need to do anything else actually you can just use uh, this very scene and this very menu screen to reorganize uh, everything and to create your actual game just uh, reskinning it you know uh, as you can see here you have main menu you hit play and you go to the menu obviously uh, in this case uh, I have not uh, commented out the the three lines here and what I what you need to do in reality is to take these three lines and put them here in play if you want to start uh, on scene one or just uh, uh, loading uh, from the player preferences uh, uh, the last scene that has been actually played the last board that has uh, has been played by the user and you can just uh, uh, set the value the values to the next board that, that need to be uh, loaded that's completely up to you you can create a, uh, a level uh, choice menu or whatever you want anyway this is uh, the uh, skeleton as usual as uh, uh, we already have done with uh, the other starter kit we are going to uh, modify in uh, and improve this kit uh, based based on uh, the feedback that our uh, customers are going to give us uh, uh, on the unity forum dedicated to uh, this crash that will start a kit so uh, this the kit will grow as usual uh, we will add uh, the features that uh, the majority of the user will ask us to add to implement uh, and so on so i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, I beg your pardon for my uh, uh, impairedness. Is that even an English word? For me being impaired in screencasting. And thank you for watching.